let's talk about a bit more about labeling uh, in QGIS. This is a map of the world, countries and cities, and I added labels to the cities. As you can see, they are one on top of the other, and you can't see anything. And anyway, you can't have a map of the entire world and expect to see anything. So let's zoom in a bit. Somewhere which is not too dense. And yet, there are problems. Uh, I don't like this uh, font, let's say, for instance. So I activated the layer, I go to label, and I go to the text. Those are the text properties, and I select a different font. I have a preview of this new font and with its background. And once I apply, I can change also the size and everything we used to do with fonts is changed through here. And before I apply, nothing is changed on the map. When I apply, everything is changed. Of course, this is not the best font to use, so let's use this one. Okay, we are better, but still, this is very small. You can't see anything. Many times we want to have a buffer around the font. So, I ask the computer to draw the buffer. I can play with buffer size. I can play with buffer volume color. The buffer can be semi-transparent. And again, before I apply, nothing is actually changed. After I apply, I get the changes on the map. And again, as you can see, now the, the font is, uh, is hiding my actual cities. So I might want to change it. I do that with placement. I can ask to have my labels two points, two millimeters away from my points. And they are moving. And I can define which one, where I want it to be placed. This is now placed above or offset in the x and y direction. I can rotate my labels and whatever you see fit. And uh, 